Welcome to Proficient's blog series, Zero to Cloud ERP Success in Eight Weeks or Less. Over the next several weeks, we are going to release a blog, a video blog, each week and showing you that trail or path to follow for a successful cloud ERP implementation. My name is Samantha German and I've been working with Oracle Applications since 1997. Over the last three years, I've had a sole focus on cloud ERP and I'm the cloud ERP practice leader here at Perficient. This blog is the first five steps to a successful implementation. We're gonna go through an email notification, how to create the users, reference data sets and how they play into your implementation, and most importantly, how to create users because you need to update your HCM information. A lot of the times during these implementations, it's the client's first SaaS implementation or first implementation they have where an email would come to them activating their service. The email will say in the subject, if you see here in blue, action needed your Oracle Fusion ERP cloud service environment, which whenever it is production, you know, test is ready. Make sure that your client is looking for this, or if you are the client, make sure you don't delete it. It is very important. And further down in that email is gonna be the link to your environment. Once this email comes, you'll wanna make sure to get with your SI and have them go ahead and log in and create users. With this and in this email, you'll receive a user ID and a password. The first time you log in, it will ask you to change it, but make sure you give this to your SI. As you go in to create a user for your implementation, go up in the upper right corner, use the drop down arrow next to your name or username. In this example, it's Finn Impel. Go to Setup and Maintenance, open up a project, click the task button that's next to Create Implementation Users. In the Implementation Users, if you already have an ID, which you obviously do because you got an email, <laughs> find that ID and user login. Open it up doing the hyperlink underneath display name and go in and add the critical roles needed to create your environment. As an implementation consultant, you will need application implementation consultant role, IT security manager, OIM administrators, human capital management application administrator, and manager. Also, if you will be creating suppliers, you need to have supplier manager and you will also need employee. If the user is going to be doing rapid implementation spreadsheets for assets, you'll want to do a percent asset percent. Find those roles and assign them to the user. If they don't have that role, they will not be able to put the rapid implementation spreadsheet in the proper place for upload. After you do that, go ahead and create a reference data set for your implementation. Based on your requirements will depend on exactly what reference set you use. I recommend you at least put in one which you will need to because when it comes to creating customers, you cannot use common data set. Common and enterprise, as you see here outlined, will come with your environment. You won't see anything but those two. Make sure you add a new reference data set to at least attach to some of your setups for customers and in the financials module. After you do that, one of the unique things about Fusion or Cloud ERP is that with each new setup, so business units, ledgers, asset books, um, they'll get a new role generated. And so you'll do the setup like we just did. You'll have to go make sure that the verified data role generation creates the roles for that data set. It's good to know when you are in Functional Setup Manager, which is what we're looking at now, any setup that you do that would need this, need role generation and provision those roles to the users is going to be directly underneath that setup. So keep your eye on it. As you go in to the role, you'll go into Entitlement Server. Look at the top, notice it's different, it's a dark blue. On the left-hand side, double-click Role Templates, then the Roles Templates page will be opened. Look for anything that's financials. You'll see a financial set ID, open that. In the summary tab, you will only have two out of the box roles. If you created a reference set ID like we would have in this presentation, you should have seen three. 
If you do not, you need to hit Generate Roles. After you generate roles, you will see that new one created. And then, of course, you need to go back to your Create Users and Identity Manager and add that role to the implementation user so they have access to it. Finally, as your implementation moves along, you're going to need to be able to create users, not in Identity Manager, but in the Manage Users forms. If you do not have an HCM implementation, then you will need to go into the Manage Enterprise HCM Information task and you will need to edit it and add a person number generation method and an initial person number. Thank you for taking time to listen to our blog today. Follow us online. We've got Twitter, we also have blogs, LinkedIn, and you can reach out to me, samantha.german at proficient.com. And don't forget to come back next week for the next topic on how to have a successful ERP implementation.